Hi everyone, I am Nirav. Welcome to SQL Server Always On Configuration Video Series. In earlier video, we have configured a domain controller server. Now in this video, we will create a two virtual machine, SQL Node 1 and SQL Node 2. And we will configure a domain account on both virtual machines. Okay, so go to the virtual machine click on add button always on rg give a virtual machine name sql node 1 select the region south east asia and here also you have to select the availability set. What is the use of availability set that we will discuss later. So select the availability set. So we have already created a availability set always on AG set. Select the server Windows Server 2012 r2 data center and give a username admin dc and password allow selected ports idp click on next there is no change on default setting click on next select the nic network security group none Select next. Configure off. Go to next. Next. And review and create. Click on create button. Now select node 1. Click on connect button, download the RDP file and let's connect. So admin DC and password, click on open. So now you are in the SQL node 1 virtual machine. Here we will configure a SQL brain box domain. So first let's go to the my computer this PC property. Right now the work group would be the local work group. Change the setting and give your domain name SQL brainbox.com and click on OK button. So now uh, it will require a domain you you domain controller username and password. So right now the domain name uh, sorry uh, username and the password and click on OK button. So welcome to sqlbrainbox.com domain. You must restart your computer to apply these changes. So let's restart the machine. Restart now. Let's wait. Let's try. Click on SQL node 1. Click on connect button. Download RDP. Now here we will first pass our domain name and then username. So right now SQL brain box slash admin DC. Let's connect. Yeah, 
So SQL Brainbox dot admin DC. So now you are in the SQL domain workgroup. So let's quickly check. Go to the my computer property, and here you see the domain would be the SQL Brainbox dot com, and the computer name would be the SQL Node One dot SQL Brainbox dot com. So we have successfully configured the domain workgroup in a SQL Node One machine. Now there is one more setting again the firewall configuration we need to configure so go to the firewall so here again i will allow all the port all the program but in a production environment you need to check with the network team and set a appropriate port number in a firewall Okay, so in here, SQL node one now in the domain SQL main box dot com. Similarly, you have to create a virtual machine SQL node two and configure the domain account yourself. The step would be the same. There is no extra step required on this. So similarly, I am creating a SQL Node Two virtual machine. So now in this uh, entire video, uh, we have created a SQL Node One. You have to create a similarly SQL Node Two. Configure the domain workgroup and firewall settings. Node Two. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.